What if Russia loses the war? 1. Russia will disappear. Mitri Medvedev of Russia's Security Council said, If Russia stops its special military operation without achieving victory, there will be no Russia. It will be torn apart. This sentiment actually makes sense. Putin has staked everything on the war. The Russian economy is suffering. Any unfavorable outcome will be the end of his reign. But there is no one to replace him. Internal strife is very likely, especially in places like Chechnya. Prigozhin's aborted rebellion in June was an eye-opener. It showed that Russia has no defenses left. An organized insurgency could easily prevail. 2. Russian-occupied territories will be reintegrated. This doesn't just apply to Ukraine. Obviously, Crimea, Donetsk and Luhansk will return to Ukraine. But Russia has propped up several unrecognized states over the years. The first is Transnistria in Moldova. It's been held by Russian troops since the early 1990s. More recent are South Ossetia and Abkhazia in Georgia. These breakaway republics were created by the 2008 Russian invasion. It's unlikely any of them will survive on their own. 3. China, Iran, and Belarus will suffer too. Belarus and Iran are Russia's most important allies in the war. In Belarus, the regime was almost toppled in 2020. Russia brought in its own people to support Lukashenko. The dictator's legitimacy is unrecognized by most countries. He's not popular in Belarus either. Lukashenko won't be able to hold on if there's no Putin to back him up. Iran has found a new source of currency in Russia. It's also increasingly reliant on Russian weapons. Once it ends, the regime in Tehran will find itself even more isolated. It might not survive another popular uprising. China is not a full-fledged Russian ally, but it has taken advantage of Russia's discounted exports. A Ukrainian victory will also dissuade it from invading Taiwan. 4. Russia will be forced to pay reparations. The damages from the Russian invasion are still mounting, but they are already in the hundreds of billions. Russia's foreign assets have been frozen across the world. Many countries say they won't be in frozen until Russia pays. There are many Ukrainian claims against Russia in international courts. If Russia refuses to pay, a reparation tax may be imposed on its exports. One way or the other, its economy won't escape unscathed. 5. The Russian military industrial complex will collapse. It's already a far cry from it used to be. Russia is one of the world's leading arms producers, but it has been losing buyers since the invasion. Russia has defaulted on some deals. It has been importing weapons from North Korea and Iran. It still has the know-how and the facilities, but its access to components is restricted. India, Algeria, Egypt, Turkey, and others are weaning themselves. Russia's aircraft industry is especially struggling. If Russia loses, it won't be able to produce weapons. This might change the balance of power in the world. 6. Russia's European neighbors will all join NATO. NATO expansion has always been Putin's favorite boogeyman. Indeed, he ostensibly invaded Ukraine to prevent it. Instead, Finland and Sweden have joined NATO. Ukraine, Georgia and Moldova are all planning to as well. There's little doubt they will join as soon as NATO accepts them. As a result, Russia's only non-NATO European neighbor will be Belarus. When the Ukraine conflict is over and Ukraine has restored its borders, as it must, we will have a damaged, vindictive and brutal Russia. Even if Putin was to disappear off the stage, there are countless others that could replace him, that could be as equally as brutal and vicious to their own people and to neighboring states. Air Chief Marshal Mike Wigston, Royal Air Force, 